Hello children, welcome to my Maths Teacher YouTube channel. Today I am here to discuss the lesson Fraction of Grade 7. Let's first recall what you have learned in Grade 6 about fractions. Here, when we consider this fraction, 3 fifths. The number over the line is called numerator. The number below the line is called denominator. Here, then you have learned some types of fractions. What are those? Unit fractions, impro sorry, proper fractions, improper fractions, mixed numbers. What are those unit fractions? Can you remember? When the numerator is 1, those fractions are called unit fractions. Improper fractions? If the numerator is less than, you know, such fraction, 3 fifths, 1 third, 5 sixths, here, numerator is less than the denominator. Such fractions are called proper fractions. Then improper fraction, here, denominator is less than the numerator, like this, 8 thirds, 5 fourths, 10 fifteenths likewise. Then mixed numbers. Mixed number including a whole number part and the fractional part. Like this. 1 and half, 3 and half, 6 and 2 thirds likewise. Now in grade 7 you are going to study further about improper fractions and mixed numbers. Here. Let's learn mixed numbers first. Look at the board here. There are two identical chocolate bars, rectangular shape. Now I want to represent the given part as a fraction. Here, whole figure is shaded. Here, one part is shaded. Now how do we write this in numerically? Here, whole number is shaded. Here, the portion rectangular shape is divided into two equal parts and one portion is colored. The portion that colored is half. Now we can represent this total value using the sum of these two figures. Here one, here half. So we can represent one and half. Like this fractions are called Mixed numbers in consist of a whole number and a fractional part. Here some example. 2 and 2 thirds. 1 and 1 fifth. 5 and 3 sixths. These are the some examples for mixed numbers. Now let's learn what improper fraction are further. Here there are five apples. It is needed to divide, divide these five apples among two people. So I am going to divide each apple into same two parts here. Now when we divide these five apples among two people, each get five halves. No? Here half, here half. Half, half, half. Each get five halves. The sum of five halves gives one people. Sum of five halves. In grade six, you have learned how do we add a fraction with equal denominators. Then we obtain denominator is two. We have to add only the numerator. One add two. One add one, two. Add one, three. Add one, four. Four add one, five. 5 over 2. Here, 5 we can express as 5 seconds. Now, it is an improper fraction. Such fractions are called improper fractions. Denominator is greater than the numerator. Here are some examples. 9 thirds, 5 fourths, 4 thirds. Here are the examples. Okay, now I think you have some knowledge about mixed numbers and improper fractions. Now let's go to the next part. In 
grade 7, you have to learn how do we convert a given mixed numbers into improper fractions. Now, let's see. Here, you are given some mixed numbers. Let's see how do we convert those mixed numbers into improper fraction. They are not difficult. Here, 3 and half. Always, denominator is 2. Then, we do this 2, we multiply it by 3. 2 into 3, 6. 6 and 1, 7. Not difficult. The method, we multiply this 2, denominator by the whole number. 2 into 3, 6, add this part. Numerator, 2 into 3, 6, add 1, 7. The answer is 7 seconds. Next one, 5 and 3 eighths. Denominator 8. We multiply denominator by whole number. 8 into 5, 40. 40 at 3, 43. The answer, 43 over 8. Next one, 4 and 2 fifths. Denominator 5. 5 into 4, 20. 20 at 2, 22. The answer, 22 fifths. Next one. 10 and 1 third. Denominator 3. 3 into 10, 30. 30 at 1, 31. The answer, 31 thirds. This is the method of converting mixed numbers into improper fractions. Now let's see, how do we convert a given improper fraction into mixed number? Opposite of that previous method. Here, you are given some improper fraction. The first one, 9 fifths. Let's see, how do we convert? Denominator is 5. Now we have to find how many fives are there for 9? You know, there is only one 5. We write that 1 is here. There is only 1 for you know that 1 is written here. 5 into 1, 5. To obtain 9, we have to add another 4. That 4 is written here. When we convert 9 fifths into mixed number, the answer is 1 and 4 fifths. Next example, 13 fourths. Denominator is 4. How many fourths are there for 13? You know, 4 into 3 is 12. Then, there are 3 of fourths. Now, 4 into 3, 12. To get 30, we have to add 1. That 1 is written here. 4 into 3, 12. 12 add 1, 13. Clear? Now, this example. 17 thirds. Denominator is 3. How many 3's are there for 17? 3 into 5, 50. Then there are 5 of 3's to 17. 3 into 5, 50. To obtain 17, we have to add 2. The answer, 5 and, sorry, 5 and 2 thirds. Next one, 11 seconds. Denominator 2. How many 2's are there for 11? 2, you know, 2 into 5, 10. Then there are 2, 5 of 2's for 11. 2 into 5, 10. 10 at 1, 11. Here is the method of converting improper fraction into mixed numbers. Now you have learned mixed numbers and improper fraction of the lesson fraction in grade 7. We have to learn how do we compare those mixed numbers and improper fraction as well as how do we add and subtract improper fraction and mixed numbers. We have to learn them in future videos. If those videos are useful to you, Please subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get my future videos. Goodbye.